Microsoft did release its latest version of Windows, the Windows 11. There is a lot of speculation around whether it's going to support our computers or not. According to the minimum 6 term requirements provided by Microsoft, that you have to have at least a Ryzen 3000 series or Intel Celeron G4900 processor. Some Atom chips like X6200 FE are also supported, but the list is very small. In short, if you don't have a 8th generation Intel or 3rd generation Ryzen, you are out of luck. Both AMD and Intel processor support link is given in the description below if you want to check them out. But if you have seen this video where I show how to install Windows 11 on your computer without any errors, by following these simple instructions, you can install Windows 11 on a non-supported processor or motherboard without facing any type of restrictions. There is also a way to install Windows 11 by applying for a developer account, but you have to wait for around 24 hours to get approved. When you get approved, you can simply update to Windows 11 directly from Windows 10. But if you like to do a fresh Windows installation, you can follow this video. The link is up here and in the description below. Now let's get back to the main topic. What is TPM? TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module. It's a technology that provides security related functions at the hardware level. It generates and stores encryption keys and performs functions in a temper resistant manner. It provides additional protection against malware and other types of attacks. BitLocker encryptions can store encryption keys in the TPM to protect your files. When your computer boots, the key stored in the TPM is used to unlock your drive. If an attacker yanks your system drive and inserts into another computer, the attacker cannot decrypt it and access your files without the key stored in your TPM. The TPM is temper resistant, so an attacker cannot just plug into another computer or easily extract your keys from it. I have also collected a feature list from Premio Incorporated website. TPM features safeguards data with a secure hardware integrated algorithm, protects against hackers, malwares, and physical theft, resists brute force decryption attack, generates quality random numbers, provides a support for encryption in the platform, establishes platform identities, store keys, and data, signs and verifies digital signatures, audit keys, uses and data access. The bad news is scalpers are already buying up TPM 2.0. However, some gaming motherboards haven't included these features and it might not be available. Prior to Microsoft announcement, this would be required for Windows 11. But this was not necessary, considered a must have feature for people buying their own PCs. If Microsoft had warned people that a TPM 2.0 would one day be required, motherboards manufacturers likely wouldn't have skimmed on adding it to the gaming boards. PC enthusiasts would have ensured that their build had a TPM. Hardware manufacturers could have enabled it by default rather than disabling it by default. I blame Microsoft for this kind of miscommunication. Hope they fix it and start to support old computers. If it does not happen, world will see a lot of e-waste in a very short time and that's very bad for the environment, also the economy, considering the crisis we are dealing with right now. In the meantime, if you really want to use Windows 11, you can install using this method, link in the description below. So that is all for today. See you in the next one.